this is probably one of those days where our small businesses are fairly busy. Not a great beach day, and yeah. this is what uh, Bar Harbor looks like right now. Mm, yeah, good but, day for shopping. Yes, uh, wandering around. You remember, was it a couple weeks ago I had gone up to uh, Freeport on a day that was like this, and it was packed. Right, yeah, everybody's swarming there on a day like this. Perfect Since for that. Check out so where we get the balance. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> whatever you're going to do. Um, we are going to do better this week. We'll talk about that in a second. We don't have a lot of total rain out there on the radar at the moment, but we have a lot of clouds, and as we showed you on those different cameras there, we've got a lot of uh, fog sticking around too. So a fairly gloomy day for most of us. We'll be focusing later this afternoon on this area, which is obviously a better area of showers and thunderstorms moving through the Champlain Valley of Vermont. Wanted to show you Ernesto as it stands right there, almost due east of Portland at the moment, but way, 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 way offshore. And so that's why even our coastal impacts have not been that bad because there are swells from it, yes, but it's moving pretty quick and it's pretty far to our east to see any real big impacts. We do still have that coastal uh, high surf advisory in effect. Again, the positive here is this would be more dangerous on a day where it was sunny and 80 degrees because there'd be more people in the water. But in this situation, I don't think there's too many people who are dying to go to the beach. That's what high surf advisory is typically for up and down the coastline, down into New Hampshire too. So the rest of today is cloudy and dreary, and it's just a matter of when this heavier precipitation, <coughs> excuse me, moves in later this afternoon into this evening. There is some tropically infused air in this or air mass in it. So there will be the potential for some really heavy downpours. We saw that yesterday. I don't know if you were, saw the story down in Connecticut. They had some really big flooding there. I don't think we'll see anything like that, but it's worth noting there is tropical moisture involved in this air mass. So heavy downpours coming through 7 to 9 o'clock over western Maine. Looks like about 9 to 11 o'clock into the mid coast. Then these showers and storms should settle down. We also have an outside risk of some strong straight line winds, especially in New Hampshire and western Maine as those come through. So things get a little bit um, stronger this afternoon into this evening. And then we've got an upper level low coming down from Canada for Tuesday and Wednesday, and that will just give us kind of a lot of cloud cover, cooler temperatures and some isolated showers. I don't think there's a ton of shower activity in here, especially along the coastline Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I do think the mountains and foothills have a chance for the showers each of those days. So this is Tuesday afternoon to Tuesday night. You can see the showers stay largely in the high terrain. We do it again on Wednesday, not a zero chance of shower along the coast, as you can see. I think especially Wednesday is going to have a very fallish feel. High temperatures in the 60s, in the mountains potentially staying in the 50s all day. So it will feel a little bit more like October than anything there on Wednesday. And then Thursday we start to loosen things up and we probably cruise Friday, Saturday and Sunday into a really nice weekend as that upper level low peters itself out. High pressure right over us over the weekend. That's looking good. And we could get into a really summery week next week too, perhaps a return to some heat. You can see us digging ourselves out of this hole, which is very cool. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we start to trend up at the right time, at least for the end of the work week into the weekend temperatures back into the 80s. Models disagree a little bit on how warm next week's going to be. The Euro has upper 80s and the uh, GFS is closer to 80 flat, so we'll keep an eye on that. Probably going to be hot. That's my guess, just looking at the overall pattern there. So again, uh, isolated showers around on Tuesday, mostly mountain stuff Wednesday and Thursday specifically. Looks good. Friday and the weekend looks much better than this weekend. This weekend, by the way, Brian, we didn't have a chance to touch base on it. It was kind of how I, I feel like it was how I described it, which yes. it, it didn't rain much. It, it wasn't, just wasn't particularly nice either. Right. Yeah. I yeah. Did, Actually, I, I thought of you Saturday because I was like, well, this, this is about right. <laughs> it's, it's, just it's mid. Gray. That's what you said, right? Yeah. It's the perfect word yeah. for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Keith. Thanks.